What up, what up, what up, Crypto Warriors? It's Sergeant Crypto back at it again. Second video for the day. Today is Monday, October 15th, 2018. And just wanted to give my thoughts on why people lose money in the markets, right? In trading or in just investing, period. Not only in cryptos, but also in the equities market, all right? And I wrote, I'm, I'm looking down because I, I wrote a few notes here. Oh, my pen fell. All right. I wrote a few things down um, so I can stay on track. But uh, yeah. So we have a few things. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is a uh, buddy of mine reached out to me. Yo, Sarge, I can't, you know, seem to win. I'm done with this, you know, whole Bitcoin thing, blah, blah, blah. I'm done, you know, um, I've had enough, basically, right? And I'm like, dude, the only way you lose is if you sell, all right? So, uh, with that being said, um, don't buy the tops and then sell at the bottoms, all right? So if you are in this space, you know you know what happened last night, right? You you saw the market jumped fifteen hundred dollars from around maybe sixty two, sixty three hundred, all the way up to seventy eight hundred, and he got in at close to. The, <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but he got in at close to the top, thinking that he was going to ride some wave, and then boom. You know, it fell from underneath them, right? They pulled the rug out from underneath them, all right? So don't buy high and then sell low. Never do that. And, you know, with that, also don't FOMO, man. No FOMO into anything, all right? Do your research. Know what you're getting into, okay? Um, he definitely FOMO'd in. And it's not like he lost like a gazillion dollars or anything, but you know, losing money is still losing money. You know what I mean? Um, but don't FOMO into anything, man. You, you you know, we saw the market running up. There's all you know when it runs up like that within the span of a few hours. There's you know there's bound to be a correction, man. So just just wait it out. You know what what I advise people to do is, and again, this is not financial advice, all right, from me personally. All right, but what I tell my, or, you know, what I suggest to my friends to do is um, dollar cost average, man. Dollar cost average every week, every month, whatever it is you can afford. If you could afford $20 a week, so be it. If you can afford $200 a week, so be it. If you can afford $2,000, whatever it is, whatever your amount is that you're not, you know, that you could afford to lose, right? That's that's what you got a dollar cost average in every week or every month or whatever the case is. All right, no matter if it's up, down, sideways, upside down, whatever. All right. All right. So, no buying high, selling low, no FOMO in, and don't try to day trade unless you are a day trader. All right. Um, I am not versed in uh, technical analysis. However, I know enough. All right, to every now and then pull out maybe a little three percent gain here or there, um, but nothing to where I have to, you know, it's, it's a, it's, it's my day job, okay? It's because it's not, it's not my day job, all right. Um, uh, but with practice, anyone could get a little bit more proficient at day trading, and. If you know, there's plenty of books out there. There are plenty of videos out there on YouTube. Just you know, okay. YouTube or Google, day trading crypto or day trading um, stocks or whatever it is, you know, and just just learn, just just watch, you know, or technical, you know, there are plenty of videos on techni technical analysis. Plenty, plenty, plenty of videos. Plenty of dudes to follow and girls, gals. I'm sorry, to so plenty of dudes and girls to to follow on um, Twitter or YouTube or whatever the case is and to, to learn from, all right? And no matter if you've been day trading for one day or 
you know, 20 years or whatever the case is, you're going to take a loss every now and then, but you have to be disciplined. And with that, what I mean by that is you ha have to have an entry point and an exit point. All right. So you got to know, have an entry and an exit strategy when it comes to day trading or just trading period. All right. Invest in whatever it is. You have to know, okay, I'm going to get in at this point and you have to set your price. All right. To, to know when to get out. All right. So that means, you know, if you're a day trader, setting your stop losses, man. This way you don't, you know, get wrecked. Okay. And, um, you know, from, from the FOMO, you don't get wrecked from the FOMO. All right. If you follow those that don't know, FOMO is uh, the fear of missing out. All right. So day trading, learn to do it. If that's what you want to do. Uh, me personally is not, it's not my thing. Um, I do know enough to, to get by. Like I said, every now and then, you know, I see something and I'm like, hmm, I'll just take a chance. And I, I set my stop losses. All right. That, 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 and that's it. You know, and get in, get in and get out. You know what I mean? Uh, what else? Um, not diversifying. Yes. Not diversifying enough. So some people think that, okay, all I need to do is, you know, just buy one stock and just keep buying that one stock only or that one crypto and keep buying that one crypto only. You know, it's, it's good to diversify, man. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that you have to have, um, you know, the top 100 in, in, in the of coin market cap, right? But maybe, you know, maybe the 10 of your favorite coins or, you know, or your 10 favorite stocks or whatever. You know, one of the rules for Warren Buffett is um, for him, he, he stated basically if you have your whole whole life only have 20 uh, a, a, a card, a punch card. And you're only able to punch, you know, have uh, 20 times, get to punch it 20 times, you know, what stocks would you pick, basically, right? So, and it's for your lifetime. So, if, if you're going with a stock route, right? Um, with this new asset class of cryptocurrencies, it's a lot newer. So, a lot of coins that were around, you know, just two years ago aren't even here again. So, um, you know, that... that 20 might be need to be 40 or something like that you know what i mean or again just know your entry point and your exit point all right so but as far as stocks go i, I think that that's a good you know um strategy to have just 20 and that did mean this mean this means that you have to do your research do your own research man do your research know a lot about the company know a lot about the crypto and what what, what it is? Don't just follow some person on YouTube, or you know some talking head on the TV screen because they say buy 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 buy, you know, um, or sell 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 sell. No, if it's a company you you believe in, or uh, a crypto that you believe in, then that's something that you have to make that decision for yourself because at the end of the day it's your money and you're the one that's going to be making the gains or losing it all right so that's it man that, that that's all i wanted to bring up today in, in this video don't f fomo um whoops lights went out don't fomo um all right don't buy high and sell low okay if you're going to day trade practice all right practice it you know you you could um their practice accounts on their out there like i can't think of them right now but um on trading view you could practice on trading view and things like that um and uh, diversify okay diversify man again this is not financial advice this is just my opinion on you know what I, what i've ex personally experienced and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like, hit that subscribe button, and that notification bell so I can vibrate in your pocket when I make a new video. Peace.